hello everyone welcome back to keto blogging and today in this video i will show you how you can show or hide wizards on specific pages so let me show you the example here i have a banner on this sidebar and i want to display it only on this blog post and i don't want to show this banner in any other blog post then how i can do that or if I want to display this widget only on desktop devices and I don't want to display it in mobile or tablet devices or you want to display it on a particular category so that all the blog posts in the same category will show this ad but it will not show to all other categories or you can also do the same with tags as well or custom post types or you want to display it when someone visiting your blog post from google or youtube or any other referral url then you can also display that ad to that users when someone visiting your website from google or youtube so you can mention that refer url so there are a lot of parameters where you can customize the blog visibility so for this let me just show you how it works so for this let me go to the wordpress dashboard here and here we are using a plugin so let's go to plugins and i will click on add new and i can simply search for blog visibility and here you will see this plugin blog visibility by nick so let's quickly install it and let me activate this plugin all right now the plugin is activated you can see click on settings and here you can enable different options but i will show you how it works so let's go to the widgets here and here is the banner image and i want to display it on a particular pages so let me remove that and you can see you will see different options like you can see browser and device so let me click on that and you can see click on platform and let me select it like android so this panel will only show to android users and you can also set iphone so that the banner will show to iphone users or you can set device type and you can set this is a mobile so this banner will show for mobile users or you can also toggle this option so that this banner will not show to mobile users and so to all other device type like desktop tablet so you have this option browser and device let's click on here and let's click on date and time and you can set a date and time for this banner to show on your website and after that this will be hidden from your website and you can also set location and you can set rule and click on post type and you can select post so this banner will only display on post and it will be hidden from pages or you can select pages and remove post so that this will only show to post and you can also add multiple rules as well and let me click on here and let me select a url path here and let me add the path of this page so let me visit this website and suppose i want to show that banner only on this page then i can simply copy the url path or the permalink of this post and i will paste it here like this and i can add a forward slash here so this is the url path of that blog post and this will only visible to this url let me click on update and let me refresh this page and as you can see this banner is showing on this blog post but let me open a different blog post here and as you can see the banner is not showing on any of the blog post so this is how you can display a banner or display a widget on a specific blog post so you have a lot of condition options you can choose from so let's click on here and you can also set user role and it will only show to lock in user or lock out users and you can also set different screen size options like you can show it on desktop tablet or mobile so you have all the options you can also select metadata here and you can select post metadata and you can set different conditions here 
so this is how the blog visibility plugin works you can also add it in blog post or pages as well so let me here i am using the cadence theme so let me show you how it works in cadence theme as well so this will work for all of the themes you are using on wordpress so let me click on edit post and let me add an image or any other block so let me add the image block here let's select the media library and let me choose this image now when you click on the image you will see the visibility option in the sidebar and you can enable different options like you can hide this block let's enable it let's save it and let's open it as you can see this is hidden so in this way we can temporarily hide any of the block here or you have the option hide block like this so you can uncheck that and let me refresh this page and you can see it is now visible so in this way we can temporarily hide that block from your page and let's click on here let's select different options like referral source and you can add a referral url like you can put youtube url and when someone visiting your page from youtube then only this image will show this is how you can control the blog visibility so it will work with other blocks as well so let me add different blocks here so let me add a quotation block here and let me type anything and here you will see the visibility options so this will work with all of your gutenberg blocks and you can control how this block will load on your page you can also use it with row layout in cadence let's select that and let me select the row layout go to advanced and here you will see the visibility option so you can use it either with cadence generate press or any other theme that supports gutenberg blocks so this is how you can show or hide wizards on specific post or pages or you can display it on specific post type or specific url or you can set it on a specific device type or set referral url or you can set different type of metadata so there are a lot of conditional options to show the wizards or show the blocks in your wordpress website so in this way you can keep a personalized experience on your website and if you found this video helpful make sure to hit the like button and to watch more videos like this i recommend you to hit the subscribe button and i will see you in the next one bye bye